Welcome to this episode of Been There, Done That. My name is Patricia Baranowski Schneider, CEO of Christine Advisors, investor relations, public relations, and media relations and marketing firm with over three decades of experience working in a wide variety of niches across the globe. Today we're going to talk about digital marketing. Downloadable or explorable bonuses. You want your prospective clients to be interested in what you have to offer. So you prepare a freebie that'll give a little taste of your products or services. This can take the form of maybe a video snippet and a one minute or two minute video may be the best way to showcase what you, what you can do for your prospective clients. It can be easily shared or sponsored on social media. Sometimes videos don't flat out promote the product or services. Instead, they show related topics. For example, you may get a cooking video, but what the company is trying to promote is the latest convection stove, maybe even a short ebook. Information books are much appreciated. They're often well researched and well written thus making the prospective client more interested in the real deal. Maybe a quiz. A lot of people on social media spend a lot of time taking quizzes, whether or not they believe the results that they get. They prefer the fun ones that still offer some insight into who they are. Clothing companies, for example, can create quizzes such as what outfit suits you best. Such a quiz catches your attention. You don't mind taking it because it's fun and you also get to see just how accurate the results will be. Then in the end, you get a recommendation. Maybe even posting an image, which can be linked to a page that offers samples on what, what can be done using them. Say, for example, Scratch. Scratch may be a nonprofit page with a lifetime free license to use its app, but profit based companies also follow the same principles. They create free content to build up the image of the page so that, so that people feel more, more assured that they want the product or service even before they explore the actual business web, web page. Then you have engagement marketing process. Um, you don't want prospective clients simply to just be aware of you, you want them engaged. You want them to keep on looking out for what you have to give. When they first see your ad, they may not, they may not really be sure. So you have to find ways for them to realize that your products and services are what they need in their lives. Now, social media marketing. A sponsored ad can easily pop up on the page of your target audience. However, you take it further by providing regular content. This way, you get to engage people whose attention you've already caught. Your ads will make them curious about your company. Make sure that your company page has some high quality information in the forms of videos, infographics, and even articles. And you have promotional membership. Even top line products such as Amazon Prime channels and Spotify, they, pro they provide free trials for a month or a week. The would be subscribers get a taste of what these products or services can offer. By the time the trial is about to end, they may already be hooked. Others will try to cancel, but will, but will be provided with discounts that may again make them stay. Then you have subscription marketing. A higher level of content marketing is achieved through a, through a subscription. Your clients actively look for your content. They have willingly subscribed to your content. Of course, if you have to present a means for them to subscribe, you can provide the intro through a sponsored ad or a downloadable freebie. Now, email marketing. When a client buys a product or, or a bells of service from you, he may have filled out a form. Now, the form asks for his email address and states how the email address will be used. So that your client doesn't feel trapped, you can give him an option to subscribe or not. Downloadable freebies may also come with a subscription form that your target clients can fill or ignore. Now, your email should be regular, informative, and suitable for your subscriber's status as a client. They should contain relevant information that your subscriber will not mind reading. If you're a bookseller, maybe regular emails on the, t on the latest top books of a particular genre are good starters. Reviews and the status of the publishing industry may also be topics that your subscriber might be interested in. Email marketing is engagement marketing strategy that you your client tuned in to what you have to offer, a channel or site subscriptions. If you think your target audience will be better engaged through videos, have a starting YouTube channel, a podcast, or even a blog, churn out free snippets on social media or pay for a sponsored ad that, that will introduce your content. The channel or site itself can already earn you money through views or visits. However, you should consider creating top-notch content that will persuade your target clients to buy your products or avail of your services. And don't forget to add a call to action. As the title of my post says, been there, done that, I can assure you that in my 35 years of working in the industry, I've done it all, and I've learned from many mistakes. I've learned so much, and I can help you do what works best to get your story in front of the audience that matters most to you. Contact me to learn more about my story. You can find out more about me on my website at www.pristineadvisors.com, and that's E-D-B-I-S-E-R-S.com. You can also contact me by email at pbaranowski, at pristineadvisors.com. You can reach me by telephone at 631-756-2486. Until next time.